These bubbles are helping to stop plastic from reaching the ocean. Well, behind me you see the bubble curtain of our bubble barrier system. Philip Erhorn is part of a team of scientists who came up with this clever way of catching plastic on one of Amsterdam's canals. We think this is really the last opportunity to capture plastic uh, in our waterways before it flows off uh, into our oceans, where it will then start dispersing and some will come back to our beaches, some will sink to the bottom of the ocean, but ultimately it will start to break down into smaller and smaller pieces. Amsterdam has over 90 miles of canals. A lot of plastic litter from around the city gets into them. The bubble barrier is at the end of one of the canals, so it tries to catch plastic just before it flows into the river and out to sea. So on the water, we basically just have a perforated rubber tube, and then we put pressure onto that tube, and then through all the tiny little perforations, small air bubbles will start to rise towards the surface, which create that upwards current that can lift plastic towards the surface and then guide it towards the catchment system. We see the usual suspects of um, plastic lids from bottles, um, cups, maybe throw away or reusable ones, um, fragments of food containers, a lot of tiny little pieces of styrofoam. This is really everywhere. So the styrofoam I really call the cancer of plastics because it just spreads and it's hard to really ever get back out of the environment. The inventors estimate the barrier stops nearly 90% of this type of material getting into the river. It's then cleared three times a week by one of the city's waste barges. We have three boats going around and they pick up 42 tons of plastics every year. But we can't uh, go around, catch it at all locations, seven days a week. This is one of the places that whatever we miss, it will be filtered out here. Oh, I nice. think it's a very nice, yeah. cute idea too, because it, look, it doesn't look bad as well. No. It, it, it adds something to the canal, I think. It's not polluting, it doesn't stop any boats to go up and down in the, in the canals. So yeah, I think it's a, it's a great idea all in all. The barrier isn't going to solve the plastic waste problem on its own, but it can also play a useful role in highlighting the problem. Well, where I can quite literally reveal what's flowing through our waters and off to our oceans. And then we can uh, look at that and see if we can maybe find alternatives and, and raise awareness, not just among the general public, but also among politicians for them to take more action so that hopefully in the future we have less plastic ending up in our waters in the first place. There's going to be a new barrier installed in Portugal this autumn and they're exploring several locations for one in the UK including Manchester. So maybe we'll be seeing some bubbles in a river here soon.